Okay, welcome to Shutters Without Borders tutorial number one, how to create a vignette for your photo. Today we're going to go over how to create a vignette for your photos using Photoshop. Uh, vignettes are used basically to darken the edges of a photograph to give it a little bit more focus or a, a more focal point as well as a little bit more drama. So we have our photo here and we've loaded it into Photoshop already. So here's our nice photo. And you want to determine, first of all, whether or not you actually need to use uh, a vignette, whether it will make your, your image look better or if it will detract from, from the look of it. So I think that in this case, we want to use one here so it focuses it a little bit more. So the first thing that we're going to do is come over to our Layers tab, click on it and open it up. And you can see that we have our background layer, which is locked. And generally, as a rule of thumb, I like to make sure that I always leave my background layer just the way it is, so it's always safe in case I ever make a mistake that is a, is a big one, which I often do. I can go back to that, and it's, it's okay. I'm not going to destruct anything or to take anything or add anything to it. So the very first thing we're going to do is click and make sure you have that background layer selected. And you're going to press Command or Control J, Mac or PC, um, and that's going to... Um, copy that layer and just paste it on top of itself so you can turn off the visibility it does nothing has changed you basically just have put another layer on top of itself the first thing we're gonna do um, to create our vignette is now that we have our workable layer we're going to go down here to the create a new layer um, click on that one and you can see up here that a new layer has been has been made now you can come in and click on the um, the layer name and change it if you like um, go to layer properties and then you can change the name here okay I'm just gonna leave it um, I will change it to vignette okay and so now we know that this is the vignette so for this layer, we are going to want to move over to the top left hand side where we have our tools and we're going to select the elliptical marquee tool. Now that we have this, we're going to start at the top left corner, click and drag all the way down to the bottom right corner. Okay, now that we've made our, um, our area here, the first thing that you want to do is um, go down to this, this is the quick mask button, or you can use the command, or the keyboard shortcut, um, the button Q. So you can see here, this is the area that we have selected in here. So it's a little bit sharp still. Um, we have a nice feather on it between 80 to 90, which you want to make sure. Um, but we want to make it a little bit more um, blurred. So we're going to go up to the filter, come down to blur, Gaussian blur. You want to move it between, I'd say anywhere between 200 to 300. Um, we'll say a nice like 250 for this one. That might be a bit much. We'll say 230. That's that's going to give us a pretty nice a pretty nice blur on it. Um, just sort of blend it a little bit nicely. So once you finish that, press Q. Come back to the marching ants. And now, because if we if we decide to put in any color here, that's going to be a problem because we have the inside of these marching ants selected. So what we're going to do is inverse our selection. So you can come up to select and go down to inverse, or it's just shift command I on the keyboard. Inverse. Now you can see the marching ants are all the way around, so we have these four corners now selected. Now from this, we're going to go up to edit and down to fill. And we're going to fill this in using black. Keep the blending mode to normal and the opacity at 100%. So you can click OK. Now you see we have a nice full, um, nice full fill coming in. Um, you can deselect these marching ants now. So if you go down to select, deselect. And you can see this. Now we can change the opacity of this layer by sliding the bar left and right. Or you can use the scrubber up here, click on the word opacity, and drag your mouse left and right. And you can see what kind of opacity uh, you can make for your vignette. I'm going to make it a little bit more aggressive, around 85%, just so that there's more focus on this color in here. And once, once you finish that, you're basically done. You have created a vignette for your photo. Remember to check out Shutters Without Borders every week on Wednesday. Um, we update our photos and there are going to be lots more helpful tutorials on the way.
Thanks for checking this one out.